Hello everyone and welcome. Beside me is the beautiful Acura NSX. But what's more exciting to me than the way that this car looks is the fact that this exterior is actually completely functional. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about aerodynamics. The exterior is the result of thousands of hours and hundreds of tests completed inside of a wind tunnel. The result is that all of the surfaces connect the airflow as it moves from the front to the back. For example, one of the fascinating lines of airflow is the stream that enters the lower opening in the center of the front bumper. The air travels through an engine radiator, then travels out through a hood vent. Continuing its path, it moves outward underneath the side mirror and the air is cooled as it moves along the side of the car. Next it travels into the side scoop, flowing through the engine's intercooler before finally passing out through an opening above the rear diffuser. The strategy can really be broken down into three categories. There's cooling, for which there are 10 heat exchangers on this vehicle. There's downforce, so you've got a rear deck lid spoiler, a flat underbody leading to a rear diffuser, and finally drag, where you wanna manipulate the way the air moves around the vehicle for aerodynamic efficiency. Starting at the front of the car, the airflow entering cools the engine radiators, it cools the twin motor unit, and some of that air is also redirected to cool the front brakes. Now, when that air comes in this wheel well, it's gonna build a high pressure area. And so in order to prevent that turbulent air from disrupting airflow further downstream, they have this wheel wake management vent. So it pulls in air from the very front and then it creates a thin sheet of air that travels over that wheel well and then prevents that air from being disrupted, keeps smooth airflow along the side of the car. The air that enters that front engine radiator is redirected upwards through these hood vents to create downforce on the front of the car. Moving along the side of the vehicle, you've got two massive intakes on each side to cool the engine's intercoolers. To cool the rear brakes, the rear subframe is actually hollow and pulls in air from underneath the car. That air is then redirected towards the rear suspension control arms, which deflect the air onto the rear brakes. For a car that can reach 190 miles per hour, obviously you're gonna want downforce to keep it planted. And most of that downforce is created on the rear deck lid. Now this vehicle's actually been fitted with an optional carbon fiber spoiler for even more downforce. Now it may sound like there's more downforce on the rear of the car than the front, and that's true. Acura has decided that the optimal ratio for this car was three to one rear to front. So 75% of the downforce on the back of the car, 25% on the front of the car. So how did they come to this conclusion? Well, there's three reasons. First of all, the car has a weight balance towards the rear of the car. So you wanna match the center of pressure and the center of gravity closely. Also, because you're sending more power to that rear axle, you wanna make sure that you have downforce covering it to keep high grip. And finally, you wanna make sure that at high speeds, this rear end remains stable. To better understand the aerodynamics, we're gonna be using flow visualization paint. use this same stuff in Formula One and basically what you want to see is these long straight streaks that means you've got good laminar flow so the air is staying connected and you get a nice straight flow pathway if you see it start to mix up that's where you have turbulence and in certain areas turbulence is okay it means you're reducing drag in that area uh, but typically for aerodynamic features you want to see these nice straight lines So pretty awesome to use this flow visualization paint and actually see the aerodynamics in real life, in real conditions. A huge thank you to Acura for having me out and thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.